in the outskirts of the city of Antwerp, the spectacular setting of Claydal Golf and Country Club plays host to the KPMG Trophy as event eight of the Challenge Tour heads to Belgium. This is the most important week uh, for us for the, for the season, for the Federation. We're uh, seeing our best Belgian amateurs playing this week. We see our top uh, professionals playing this week. It's all about giving them chances to show themselves to the Belgian crowd, which we hope are coming to see them. This is a tournament that has started about exactly 10 years ago. It has gone from strength to strength. To, and now we are at the 11th edition here on Claydal Golf Club. And we feel that uh, as a core business for the Federation, this is what we want to give to Belgium and give our young players a chance to experience high-level tournament golf. We've had a lot of rain last week. Uh, luckily, we escaped some thunderstorms in the beginning of the week. Greens are getting faster, so we'll expect good scores, nice scores. Um, probably uh, we'll, we'll see some nice things. And there was plenty on view, including a hole-in-one by Belgian amateur Christophe Ullenars. It was Adrien Bernadet of France, though, who set the early morning pace. But he was unable to maintain his fast start, unlike Italian Andrea Pavan, who birdied the par 3 ninth to finish his eye-catching round of 65. One man stood out from the pack, though. Last week's winner in Switzerland, Alexander Knappe, shot a stunning 9 under par 62 to continue his red-hot form. Nico Geiger of Chile looked on course for something very special indeed, starting his round with six straight birdies. But he could only add one more, leaving him two shots behind the outstanding Knappe. The favourable scoring conditions are forecast to continue tomorrow, as the KPMG Trophy looks set to deliver another day of top-class action.